So I had a question about it because you're making a textualist argument, mm -hmm. and as I look at uh, Section 3, I see two parts of the first sentence of Section 3. Um, the first is a list of offices that a disqualified person is barred from holding, and the second are specific circumstances that give rise to disqualification. So first, am I right about seeing that there are two different things happening in the first sentence yes, of section? Okay. For sure. So are you arguing both in this case or just one? Are you arguing both that the office of the presidency should not be considered one of the barred offices mm -hmm. and that the pers a person who previously took the presidential oath is not subject to disqualification? We are arguing both, Your Honor. I don't see that in your brief. Well, I see a lot of focus on the second, but not on the first. There is definitely more focus on the second, and we acknowledge that we have a somewhat heavier lift on the first point. Why? It well, seems for, to me that you have a list and president is not on it. That, that's certainly an argument in our favor, but they're also, with respect to officer of the United States, that's used repeatedly in the Constitution, in the Commissions Clause, in the Appointments Clause, and also in the Impeachment Clause, and every time it appears, it's used in a way that clearly Excludes no, I understand, but that's so the second argument. So the first is. argument the mm -hmm. is we have a list of offices yes. that a person is barred from uh, uh, holding, right, yes. under your theory or under the, the language mm -hmm. of, and we see it begins with senator, representative, elector of elector. president and vice president, and all other civil or military officers. Uh, well, offices, offices under the United offices States. Offices under the United States. But the phrased. word president or vice president does not appear, uh, not appear specifically That's in right. that list. So I guess I'm trying to understand, are you giving up that argument, and no. if so, why? No, we're not giving it up at all. You're right, the president and the vice president are not specifically listed. But the Anderson litigants claim that they are encompassed within the meaning of the phrase office under the United States. And do you agree and that, 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 that um, the framers would have put such a high and significant and important office, sort of smuggled it in through that catch-all no, phrase? We don't agree at all. That's why we're still making the argument that the presidency is excluded from the covered offices that are listed at the beginning of Section I'm, I'm 